insurance in Germany is one of the most beautiful things compared to what is available in every part of the world like seriously why do I say that because German health insurance covers on everything Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like ages since I made any video. Um, a lot has been happening. YouTube has not been very encouraging because you guys are not subscribing. Subscribe now. What's this? Just hit the, uh, the uh, red button on the left or the right. Shall I look down? You see one subscribe button. Please hit it and hit the bell button so that when I make videos, you can easily see them and give me the views I need to know to be encouraged to keep doing this. Thank you very much. So guys, it's been like forever since I've been here and I saw the support and the way that everybody or all of you liked the first video I made about working in Germany being more beneficial than working in the USA and a lot of you reacted to that video. I got a lot of feedbacks, a lot of comments, a lot of questions and so seriously, I'm really encouraged and I want to do a part two of that video. So this is a part two of that video okay so i have a few points to share and this one like it's like an advanced level of it like why you might want to stay in germany or settle down in germany instead of the usa i i know <laughs> but guys before we're boiling let's move straight into the german word of the day so German word of the day um today i want to zero on on the word zisha zisha Zisha. So Zisha is a word for sure to say if you are sure of something. So if I say bis du Zisha, I'm asking you, are you sure? You know, so and another way people use that word is saying something like Zisha is Zisha. Something like that. That Zisha is Zisha. East Zisha is like saying sure is sure. It's as if to say it's better to err on the side of caution than you know not to take caution at all. So that's why people will say Zisha is Zisha. Um, now, on the word Zisha, there are other words I would like to highlight, which are really connected to this word, which are actually the main reason why I brought up this word. And that is Fezisharong. 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 Fezisharong is a word that means um, insurance. Like the way you say health insurance, car insurance, all of the insurances is all called physician even though here when people just say physician the first thing that comes to your mind is health insurance but if the word itself literally just means insurance so physician means insurance you see we are not sure surety sure showment sure, is come okay anyway moving on the next word is connected to the word zisha also is zisha height zisha height is a word for safety Yes, it's a word for safety. So you see that there is a zisha and there's the height. And that height there is a um, suffix to make zisha a complete noun. To make zisha a noun. I don't know if zisha is a verb before that is not becoming a noun. Anyway, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, it makes the prefix zisha a noun. That makes it zisha height. There are also, zisha can also be used as a verb. As per saying, ich, ich zisha das, aber, mm, I've never used it in my in my three years of experience. But <laughs> but yes, oh, I think I've used it a couple of times. Ich muss zischen. yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think I've used it a couple of times, and it's also via it's also correct to German. So guys, moving on straight to the video of the day. So, is working in Germany, or should I use the word living in Germany, more beneficial and better than living in the USA? I can't completely give you a yes or no, but you have to decide that on your own depending on what your life entails and what you want for yourself. Finally, I can't decide for anybody, you know. So, my first point on the list would be job security. Now here, job security is a big Thing. like when you get to when you start working when you get a job your employer can't just lay you off when they feel like no it doesn't work like that there are rights you have and you cannot be easily laid off and i'm um, using the recent experiences we had with the pandemic a lot of employers were not even able to pay their workers but they had to keep them on the payroll you get like it is that serious you can't just wake up and say ah uh, 
I'm no more doing again. Everybody go. It doesn't work like that. There are processes that has to take. If the worst comes to worst, the government or the society is organized in such a way that the government can also step in and come up with ways to support the citizens in cases where they can't work. So job security is a big deal. Like it is so like I heard a story of someone, I think I saw it on, on YouTube, where she was saying how she got a job and in two weeks she was laid off. They can't do it, yo. They can't do it. They can't. Because when you... Okay, sorry for using the word can't. But they can't do it here. Because... Because when you start working here, you get... I don't know if it happened... I don't know if the same thing with Canada. Because this lady speaking now, it happened to her in Canada. But I don't know. But from my own experience, when you're working here, you get a... What do you call it? Fetrag. And fetrag. Um, a contract. Thank you. That's a new word. Fetrag. 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 So you get a you get a a fetrag and fetrag and on that contract it is written from when and when to when you are um, employed for and if it is um, an open of when I say open I mean unlimited offer then it shows from this date till forever till whenever you want to go or something like that so they can't just lay you off they already signed that you'll be there and they will pay you such amount to so and so time uh, I'm not very vast on the laws that govern it but this is my experience and I'm sharing it with you next on my list is health insurance remember our physician room good health insurance so health insurance in germany is one of the most beautiful things one of the best things i've heard of all over the world compared to what is available in every part of the world like seriously why do i say that because german health insurance covers um everything everything except for special things okay so the your health insurance might will not cover cosmetic surgeries it will not cover yeah it won't cover cosmetic surgeries and some of all those things that are not really that your life don't depend on it for example if i was going to fix my teeth my health insurance covers for a uh, uh what do you call it a checkup my dental checkup my health insurance covers for a little wash up or a little clean up like you say uh crunch spoolum just to rinse them out something like that it covers for that but if i want to do a cosmetic job on my teeth like change one teeth fix that then i need a dental insurance yes dental insurance that's different if you want to do that i don't have one right now but if you want to do that you can do that on my own health insurance anyway i have the opportunity to do a deep cleaning once a year once a year on that a deep cleaning teeth deep cleaning like removing caries and all of that i can do that once a year on my health insurance without paying a dime as in shingban will not come out of my pocket and i've seen i've heard a lot of people talk about it how they probably got accident and the ambulance came picked them up took them to the hospital they were totally taken care of they even had surgical procedures done and they did not have to pay one dime and that is really really supportive very supportive for people who have terminal illnesses very supportive for people who have issues that just keep taking them to the hospital or if you are just generally um interested in your health and you want to keep healthy and do the right things all the time then yeah german health insurance is for you yeah i just remember something else it doesn't cover is um contraceptive because i think they do that in order to um encourage people to have kids here i think just my thoughts i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure but that's my thought and i think yeah if that's what they want okay but it doesn't really, the health insurance doesn't cover for contraceptives. So if you want to have contraceptives, um, German health insurance won't cover for that. You have to buy that yourself. Thank you. <laughs> hey, my next point is education. So if you're coming here or you're moving here with your children, be rest assured that their education till, um, okay, depending on what, okay, I'll just say till high school is free completely free you don't have to add extra money although that if you need a daycare and things like that on those ones you have to pay but the moment they start with um grundschule as primary school to secondary school that is completely taken care of you don't have to pay for that and it doesn't mean that because it's free then it's low quality no in fact you, the quality is so standard and so so um 
uh, so standard that you might never really need to go to a pri private school. People who send their children to private school are probably people that have extra money and just want some exclusive treatment for their kids. But generally, a lot of people use the public schools and it is great. Like, education is free. You don't have to think about that at all. And depending on the... Um, and what they want to do in their tertiary level that will depend if they are going to get paid for going to school or have to pay some money for going to school but depending on what in most cases and for uh german citizens there is a lot of subsidy and it doesn't really cost that much so education is free hey so this is gonna be like my last point and i feel like it's one of those things that I really like about being here even though it kind of shocked me in the beginning but it's a good shock it's a good shock i think and which is your bosses are usually friendly when i use the word friendly you get what i mean like they would really have small talks with you and you know me in a nigerian bako i'm looking at it like good afternoon good afternoon ma. good afternoon sir. How, how are you sir I like size everywhere even though there's not really sign german but yeah i'm like having sat everywhere and they're like no 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 you don't have to put sign. just call me refer to me in the informal do like we are doing uns duzen i'm like okay or they're like no 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 we are doing uns here i'm like okay which is not really my experience in working with uh in professional spaces which is kind of a good thing. It kind of helps you to be more comfortable in your workspace, be able to share your views easily and give your opinions. You don't feel necessarily controlled. Um, it doesn't mean that there are not those few bad eggs that kind of walk into the workspace and want to show everybody that <gasps> Amy Waloba, I hope I said that it correctly in Yoruba. <laughs> Uh, that's my language it means like nobody else can rise above me if you try to rise above me i push you down i've not really had that experience at the extreme probably there are those people that come around and try to like boss around which is something i'll speak about in my next videos about the things in Germany that i don't like but that video is coming later. I just want to tell you about the good things first. So that when I come up with that one, nobody will tell me that I did not say the good things. I've said the good things now. Everybody, mark my words. Mark my words. I've said the good things. So your colleagues or your, your superiors are more likely to be very friendly with you. Which is a very good thing. It's going to help you. And it doesn't, and it doesn't really mean that every opinion you come up with or every idea you come up with to be listened to they might never even listen to it or they might listen to it and shove it aside or probably anything can happen humans are humans they can't do anything they can't take the glory for it humans are humans everywhere in the world that can happen but it is important for you so that you can at least go to work every day comfortable and not feel haunted yeah sometimes there are those kind of experiences so but that doesn't rule out like i said the bad eggs it doesn't rule out the racist group it doesn't rule out any of those all of that gist is coming on another video but i just need you to know that if you want to move to germany your education of children is free your health insurance covers everything and your job security is sure so guys this is the end of this video please don't forget to subscribe Subscribe to this girl. Don't you like this girl? This girl is trying. I'm trying. Like in all of my busy schedule, I try. Like out of my sweetness of my of my chest, I bring out time. <laughs> I bring out time to make these videos, and I really need you guys to kind of support me. And how you have to support me? You don't have to pay. Just click the subscribe button, share the videos, like, put on a comment. Let me know what you're thinking when you saw the video. Those kind of things help me to know in what direction I should tailor my videos so that i can meet your needs specifically so guys don't forget um i'm your girl ss diaries i guess i forgot to say that in the beginning maybe i said it I don't know. see you guys in the next video bye bye Dedicate.